reverses the hold on race and race goes into the corner catching his shoulder and falling to the mat but the champion is a little groggy and is un unable to take the opportunity but he moves in and takes him up in a body slam which come, ends up in a backbreaker on his knee falls on top of him <laughs> unable to hold him past the one count he moves right oh. in again there was a headbutt there both Harley race is very dazed right now the champion is moving in with the elbows to the neck and to the back Harley Race is very groggy, takes him in, up into a pile drive, he drives his head into the mat. It looks like it could be all over here. Counts him down, but he throws him off. Amazing. This man was able to take that pile drive and still be able to get up on his feet. Takes him to a backdrop. Yeah. Sam, how is this man able to take all this punishment? Well, he's got a lot of stamina. He has a lot of stamina. Very now he does a knee drop. It just proves one thing, that these men are in good condition, because they wouldn't be able to take all this abuse. The catch of Hardy Wakes again, across the chin again and again. Hardy Wakes is groggy. Hardy Wakes fights back. Match is Funk. Funk is hanging on by the ropes. Hardy Race is moving in. Headbutts him. He headbutts the champion. Now the champion is groggy. Takes Funk over with a flyer mare. Does a knee drop across the head of Terry Funk. Terry Funk is laid out on the mat. He's moving on top of the champion, but didn't get beyond the one count. Atkins is watching this go very closely. Going back in with a backdrop across the knee. He falls on top of the champion. The Funk pushes him off. Both men are taking severe punishment. Again, he picks him up with a reverse backdrop, but it's the champion head scissors and takes him over, got him down, and Atkins moves in for the count. So, a great friend of mine, and it's been great to have Sam here with me to help describe exactly what's going on. Well, we're a little over 20 years ago, I saw you win the championship right here in the Maple Leaf Gardens. That's from right, Lutez. Yes, that was a great champion, Lutez. Yeah. Your... Gary Funk has been thrown out of the ring. And I'd like you to know there's a 10 count here in Toronto. When a man goes out of the ring, there's a 10 count for him to get back into the ring and wrestle. Race again takes a hold of Terry Funk and throws his head against the steel post. Very groggy. The referee's pounding. Harley Race takes him over, fly him there. Knee drop to the head by Harley Race. Harley climbing on top of the rope. Fred Atkins walking in the count. What the slam! Did you see that, ladies and gentlemen? He picked him off, the champion picked him right off the top rope, took Harley Race and just picked him up and body slammed him down to the mat, right from the very top rope. He moves in now. With a knee drop across the inner part of the leg. Working again on the leg. This is the name of the game. You take a hold of your opponent and you work on one part of his body and weaken him and until the point where you can move in and, and for the kill. And that's exactly what he's trying to do. He's working on that leg again. Step over, toe hold. 
That's the hole that won the title uh, for Dory Fung Jr. over uh, Gene Kaniski in 1959, I believe. And uh, Terry beat Briscoe with the spinning uh, leg hold. There it goes. He's going down for the count. One, two. And nearly headed for the three count. And nearly retained his championship there. Side headlock reversed. Back into the in, back into the leg again, like I was saying, ladies and gentlemen. Work on the hold, wear your opponent down, and that's the name of the game. And he's working away on this leg hold. Harley Race gets the champion off. Gary Funk moves in again with a side headlock. Terry Funk, who's hurt. He brought him down. He's hurt his leg. When he lifted him up, he brought him back down and he has an Indian death lock on the champion. Harley Race has an Indian death lock on the champion. Terry Funk. He's applying the pressure. He's applying the pressure on Terry Funk is fighting. He's headbutting. He's trying to get out of the hole, what we call the Indian death lock. He's fighting and fighting and fighting. He injured his leg before Harley Race applied this hole. Gary Funk is fighting and trying to get out of it, but he's trapped. He's trapped in this Indian death lock. And Harley Race keeps on applying the pressure. He's applying the pressure. Terry Funk is trying to get up on his feet to try to go over the top of the body of Harley Race. He's trying to get over the top of him, but he just can't do it. This is the most painful hold in wrestling. Very few men. The match is all over. And here's the new, new world's world heavyweight champion. champion. <coughs> he got a new world's heavyweight champion with. Harley Race is a new world's heavyweight champion. He has defeated Terry here in Toronto, in Toronto Maple Leaf Garden, you should see the fans, the thousands of fans milling around the ring. Sam, what do you think about this? I think that it's a great upset, and it's an ambition that Harley Race has held for years, and especially since he lost to Bristol and Houston.